Vegas fans, the fourth Saturday of every month at the Q Mark for 3WA Wrestling Action. Call 215 362 7184. Tonight on Carnage fans, you will see Slayer vs. the Bounty Hunter. And our main event, Shane Douglas and Roadblock vs. Malcolm King and JT Cage. Here we go again, man. Outhouse Club, Outhouse Club, Outhouse Club. That's all I keep hearing. The Brickhouse Club hasn't been together since Cody did what he did. He wanted to end it. He found a way to do it, and he did. Now, let's go back to what happened with me and Roblox at the end of the show outside when Roblox and JT Cage faced each other for a hardcore title and dog collar match. Yes, Roblox speared me on the thumbtacks. All right? He let the anger get the best of him. I then let the anger get the best of me when I came home and I did the podcast with a round turnbuckle. But the thing is, Roblox is my brother. And I consider that man my brother. The only thing that could bring us closer is blood. But he is my brother. And like family, yes, families fight. But at the end of the day, families always come back together. Which is something that you guys seem to keep forgetting. Now, if you take a look behind me, you see that calendar? See that calendar? Ever, since ever since this match was announced, I wake up every morning, I look at this calendar, and I count down the days. We are now seven days away. From the one corner, you got JT Cage and Malcolm King with the original hat guy. And the other corner, you got Roblox. And you got a hardcore icon, a hardcore legend, the man who started Extreme Championship Wrestling, the man who threw down the NWA title and rolled up the ECW title, the man who told all the people who held the NWA title to kiss his ass. I'm talking about the franchise. Shane Douglas is in my corner. I will be managing Roblox and the franchise Shane Douglas. This may be the one fall to end all. But this is the war the original family won. That no matter how many times we faced off, y'all found a way to ruin the match to get you guys the upper hand. Next Saturday, this all ends. This is the war y'all wanted. Now we come for it. And we take it. What's ours. And that's the victory. There are some facts for you. Welcome fans to our continued coverage of 3WA Franchise. I'm the Big Al Broski with my broadcast colleague, Professor T. Hello everyone, thank you for inviting us once again into your homes. This will be completing our coverage of 3WA Franchise. And right now we're just awaiting the entrance of the family. Professor, not much is known about this bounty hunter. Do you know anything about it? You know who that guy is? I do not know who the man under the mask is, nor where he comes from. I believe it's somewhere south of Parks Unknown. He is an impressive physical specimen, though. Interesting character, and boy, does he have an interesting opponent. And that he does. As we await the Jersey Shore Madman Slayer. Listen, these fans are up, Professor. Absolutely, the key, the three WA faithful love Slayer here in the three WA arena. Slayer, one of the more interesting characters in the three WA. Interesting, he's nuts. I was trying to be polite about it. I one time tried to have a word with Slayer. He tried to fight me. That doesn't shock me. Our fight policy with Slayer is usually to be wherever he is. Uh-oh. 
Oh, come on already! What business does he have out here? as he used to be a former member of the original family. Until the original family betrayed him, in my mind, that guy has no business out here. Well, he's got a mic. He'll tell you why he's out here. I can't wait. Irish whip and no reversal. Oh, hard to the buckle goes the bounty hunter. Here comes Slayer with the close line. Slayer once again close line. Has anyone been playing? Whitey! Here's Whitey. Referee admonished him about it. Your old friend Lance. Hey, you know, I have no complaints about Lance until he gives me a reason. How very diplomatic. Slayer now stomping away, fighting the man again. Our three Lance Marshals in there telling Slayer no biting. Yeah, good luck with that. Now I'm not sure if Slayer actually understands English. I think he understands it, Professor, but I think he's so insane he just ignores me, it said. Very possible. Double stomps now, Slayer. Fighting him again. again. <laughs> I believe Slayer doesn't understand the cover doesn't count if you bite the man. Marshall's trying to keep some semblance of control. Is that a low blow? Looks like a low blow to me. I'm not sure why Lance Marshall's warning the bounty hunter about the low blow. He's well, you know, the bounty hunter, hunter professor has to do what he's got to do. He might collect some money. He might walk out of here with some purse money courtesy of the Hackeye. That's true. Morals and ethics. Morals and ethics. Nobody home on that on that guy. Hey, if you're called the bounty hunter, you do what you gotta do to this guy to take him out. You're being paid to take him out, not win the match. Take him out. Now be that as it may, Slayer now. Wraps oh. the arms around the neck and drops the man. Here's a cover. Two, three, Slayer got him. Wow. Honor, Professor. Yeah, I think he's going to have to look into a new profession. Wait a minute. Slayer, maybe not done with the man yet. He dropped across the forehead. These fans love Slayer. They sure do. I don't know why. Maybe they relate to crazy. I don't think ever know. It's all kinds, right? Another elbow drop. What? Match is over. Player needs to be careful. Lance Marshalls might reverse the decision. He's acting like the match isn't over. Come on, ref. Now Slayer is speaking to Lance Marshalls. Did you ever find out how much a zorking weighs, Alan? No, I thought that's your job. You're the broadcast journalist. Well, I did try to ask Slayer once, and then he started chasing me. I told you, this guy's nuts. I don't want to head. I don't want to head down to the Jersey Shore and find him running around. But there you have it, everyone. Now you know where Big Al won't be when you're planning your vacation. Ha 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 
<laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. When are the jokes going to stop 3WA? You see, first it was Matt Cardona. Then it was Nico Gray. Then it was Flash Carter. And, and now and now it's this guy who, who said a few years ago, I, I, I saw a post and it said, oh, I'm coming for... Uh, you know, Leo Sweet and his high impact title. Uh, I'm coming for Merrick Miami and his 3WA Extreme title. And, and finally, he gets his shot. He gets his shot at the superstar, Merrick Miami. And this is great. This is really great because uh, El Luchador, El Lucha King, whatever the hell your name is, Felipe Jr., Flippy Doo, Da Spot Monkey, whatever it may be. Whatever your name is, come April 23rd at the Quaker Town Farmer's Market, where I always am, doing what Merrick Miami does. I'm going to not only embarrass you, destroy you, I'm going to take your mask, I'm going to take your pride, I'm going to take your dignity, because that's what Merrick Miami does. Because Merrick Miami, Merrick Miami is 3WA. And 3WA is Merrick Miami. Miami. Main event time, Professor. Absolutely. So nice to see Matt Miami still think so highly of himself. As he should. He beat Matt Cardona. I am contractually obligated to go down and get Matt Cardona. But that nails you some hair as well. What we got going on right now. And I'm fired up. The original family versus Flip out with Roadblock and the franchise Shane Douglas. I can't believe I'm calling this back, Professor. Absolutely. And out first is the 3WA Hardcore family, JTT, who's popular as always. The ruler of it all. Say it with respect. I'll say it however I want to say it. Respect is on. And once she's the champion. Yes, indeed. With that Marvelous Malcolm King, Professor. Absolutely, Malcolm King, the enforcer of the original family. Don't worry about me. Once again, everyone is hearing themselves in this crowd here. They've got a heck of a challenge on their hands tonight. Hardcore rule, Professor. Anything goes. And, uh, man... When you have an ECW original like the franchise Shane Douglas, you, you damn well sure know that he will pull out all the stuff. Absolutely. Uh, you know, ECW the popularizers of hard for Shane Douglas, the man that got kicked off the entire revolution over there. And actually, JP Pink has said Shane Douglas, the man that inspired him to get into professional wrestling in the first place. What's got to be going to JP Pink's mind right now? Absolutely. He's probably a little nervous. You know, one of the one of the guys that he looks up to, but again, he's, he's against he's he's across the ring from the man. He has to take him on. He has to clear all that out of his head and he needs to focus on winning this match tonight. Absolutely, the match of JP King's life, the opportunity of JP King's life, and Malcolm King as well. I'm sure both these men would love to walk out of here saying, I beat Shane Douglas. Now we are awaiting Brick House and his charge, Roadblock. Former hardcore champion, Roadblock. You know, fan favorite local hero in Quakertown, Professor. Absolutely, and this feud between the original family, Roadblock and Brickhouse, has been going on now just about three years. And I think the hope is tonight that finally we're getting Shane Douglas involved in it. And we're going to find these holes and out tonight. We're going to be done. We're going to pull it in. But I don't know. I just, I have a feeling that this is just not going to end until somebody goes to the hospital or what. Oh 
blocking out the crowd for this absolutely long roadblock here in the WWE Arena. Why do you say that's where it is? He's got a microphone. Hey, Cage, you call yourself the franchise? Here's the real franchise right here. Listen to the roof come off this building and 
Machine Gun was holding out the three fingers, of course, and Daniel of the Triple Threat. I imagine that Chris, Candido, and Bam Bam Bigel are looking down on this one tonight, and I hope they're smiling. I gotta agree with that, Professor. Uh, I had the privilege of seeing many Shane Douglas matches over the years. And now we get to call one, man. It's a, it's a moment for you and I. Absolutely. We're just about to get underway here, getting the nice and these worked out. Both teams just sizing each other up right now. Bit of a stare down. Remember, neither man, we do not have to observe tag team rules. All four men will be in the ring at the same time. Referee Zach Carlucci is just giving out last minute instructions. JT Cage's jaw jack and Shane Douglas. That call, that, that, that has guts right there. Absolutely, I apologize to referee Lance Marshall. And we're underway here. Shane Douglas whipping JT to the corner. Now with the right hands, Heyman is dropping JT on the outside. Brickhouse with Malcolm King. And apologies, we're blocking Malcolm King. And we're block is teeing off on Malcolm King with what appears to be an aluminum pan. The elbow. Ionic elbow. Shades of the American Dream, Benet. Out of one only for Shane on that. I don't envy the job of referee Lance Marshall. In fact, I'll go as far as to not criticize his job during the smack, Professor. How big of you. And now JT Cage in control in the ring. Irish whip. Shane Douglas in the buckle. Here comes Cage. Big splash. He got it. Oh. Roadblock jamming once again. Malcolm King's head between that and the turnbuckle. Malcolm King's in a lot of trouble right now. He went right now. to the post. He's beating him down with that cookie sheet. Absolutely. Big haymaker once again. And now JT oh. hand to Shane Douglas's head. Give him another one. Down goes Douglas. Cover. Cover. Two. He got a two count he on did. Shane Douglas. That he did, but a two count's not going to win you the match. Roadblock now with a chair on Malcolm King. Ooh, drives it down across the shoulder. All kinds of action going on, Professor. Absolutely. I don't I don't envy our cameraman Kurt. I mean, where do you turn to? How do you keep this one straight? Once again, JT Page hammering away on Shane Douglas. Now JT Douglas's head right off the apron there over in the corner. We've got Rope. We've got I apologize, we were looking at Chad McCoy there. See, I told you fans, it's gonna be really hard to oh. back of the act. He tried to he tried to corner him into the post and he hit the post himself to make Malcolm move. Absolutely, but then you know exactly we got Shane team up on Big T now, talking some trash to the hat guy, I believe. And Shane now teeing up, head off the apron once again, rolls JT back in there. Was that a pool? I think that was a pool. That was the ring steps. Oh my lord. <laughs> this is breaking down. Shane Douglas now setting JT Kane. Roadblock and Malcolm still on the outside. Shane taking Kyle Drive. Yeah, maybe. Nope. Nope. The hat guy, well, I gotta give him credit. He did do a good job of distraction there. And here comes JT Kane. Whoa, whoa. Eagle has a headlock. That it is, but still, that was low, JT. All I gotta say is, that guy puts the distraction on him, he gets the low blow, and now the ruiner of it all in control. Now that is how Hat Guy earns his money. And now JT having some issues with that. Come on! Hey! Despicable. Hat Guy with the eye rate. And now it's a two on one situation. Where's Roadblock? I think I'm Van Basin with the steps earlier. That he did. Roadblock momentarily Double team incapacitated. Pepper. Irish whip off. Double close on. Down goes Douglas. He is in a world of trouble right here. Look at him to cover him. That is not even close to getting it done with a legend of Shane Douglas. Malcolm King should be ashamed. Yeah, I gotta agree with that. You're not gonna beat a guy like Shane Douglas with a boot. Absolutely. No matter how expensive they are. Well, stop. Now, 
is key. Waffle and Douglas is trying to get behind Roadblock to cross him. Absolutely, they need to get him back into this. Roadblock grabs a hold of JTK. Shane Douglas, Irish whip, no reversal. Mountain King with a buckle. Douglas waiting for him with a big right hand. We switch partners. Absolutely, Douglas now with that metal pan. It's again, that's two. Can't knock the big man down. Three. Still on its feet. Look at him. Wow. Oh, Shane Douglas goes Down low. he goes. Just low blow into another pan shot. Two. Now I'll count a two. Two and a half. Easy. Meanwhile, Roblox and Cage still fighting on the far side. Absolutely. Douglas now perhaps was a little bit of an eye poke there. Can't quite tell from this angle. Meanwhile, Roadblock and JT hammering away at each other with maybe a trash can lid there or some sort of metal object. And I apologize, it's a little hard to tell from our vantage point here. Not strangers to each other are Roadblock and Cage. Not at all. They, their war is the genesis of oh. got this done. Oh! JT Cage just took a runner and flew at Roadblock there. Shane Douglas working over Malcolm Cage. Get off. Big hit toss by Malcolm King. Cover. Cover one, two, two and a half. That was a longer two count. That was a long two. You know, Shane Douglas has been double teamed. He's What's been Cage doing? Oh! Whatever it was, it sure didn't work. Roadblock was ready for it. Yeah, yeah a steel chair shot on King. Malcolm King is raking his leg over the back of the neck of the uh, Franchise Shane Douglas. Absolutely. That's a little over 300 pounds. I don't care what Malcolm Hammond says. That's a little 50. Yeah, my eye too. Look at that. And that's a half guy again from the dressing room. So. Yeah, where's Brickhouse? Good question. Where is Brickhouse? Hopefully, he's staying a safe distance away from this car. Whoa! Big headbutt. Absolutely. Once again, over 300 pounds crashing down near the heart of Dan Douglas. Action outside, action inside, Professor. Absolutely. It's hard to keep track of this one. We knew it was going to be violent, fans. We knew it was going to be brutal. I don't know that even in our wildest dreams we expected this. Malcolm King with a pan once again over the head of Roadblock. It is not looking good for our heroes at this point. Our heroes? Well, I'm speaking for the fans. Okay. Easy stuff! Easy stuff! Easy stuff! Absolutely. Trying to will Shane Douglas and Roadblock back into it. Shane Douglas got those punches. Getting a little funky. Jabs in. Absolutely. Throws him off the rope. Good, good elbow by Douglas. JT King is down. Douglas really needing the back of the He just yelled ECF and W to the fans, Professor. Absolutely. Big shot to the stomach of JT King. Hey, Cage won at this match, Professor, so, you know, he's getting every bit of Shane Douglas. Absolutely. JT King points off the franchise of Chair. WA. Oh. Roadblock playing the chair shots. And again, fans chanting one more time and they get it. Roadblock measuring. Looking to do it again. Mountain King in a vulnerable spot. Bad way here. Oh, one more. I believe Malcolm got sandwiched between the chair and the post. Nobody's taking more punishment in this match than Malcolm King, in my opinion. I think I think there uh, might be some case for that right now, but Roadblock and Shane Douglas have been taking their lungs. Douglas now Cage. with a hold of Cage. Abdominal stretch, perhaps. Yep. Cage trying to block. Next ball. Nope. Douglas has it. You know, for all the talk about Shane Douglas' hold too, a lot of people forget Shane Douglas is one of the most technically efficient wrestlers in ECW. Absolutely, but he got... That abdominal stretch was broken up by uh, Cage's partner, Malcolm King. Absolutely, that's the danger in these sort of tornado tag team rules matches. The partner is never far behind. You really got to incapacitate both men, even more so than you do in a regular tag match. And now, the original family in control, Malcolm King trying to bring Shane up, Shane fighting back. Jay got the is title belt. With the belt. And oh, Wham! Right across the head. 
Shane Douglas gets nailed with the 3WA Hardcore Championship. He might have busted him open, Professor. I would. I was dead flush on the forehead. I, I have to agree with you, Al. I wouldn't doubt it. And now you've got Malcolm King trying to get the cover, maybe trying to open a wound. No nope, cover, too. Oh, Douglas still managing to get loose there. Oh, he's absolutely busted open. I saw the crimson on his face. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, that's put Shane Douglas in a bad way, but also, Al, you and I know, longtime fans of the business, you get that claret flowing, as Gordon, the late, great Gordon Soley used to say, the blood starts flowing, you see your own blood, it does something to you. It changes your mindset, pushes the aggression up a little bit. And that's what Malcolm King is seeking to avoid now, another big forearm, and yes, the blood is flowing, Shane Douglas is busted open, he's in the corner, this is not where the franchise needs to be, but here comes Roadblock, fighting for that Singapore game now, JT Cage getting involved, Irish whip off by Roadblock, and oh, that is a restaurant quality spine buster on Cage. Douglas has a cane, absolutely, he's right across the back. One's over. I think he took out the big man. Now they're focused on Cage. Absolutely, great ring, great ring generalship of every move. They've got, they've got uh, Malcolm King taking care of. Belly to belly by Shane Douglas. That is a thing of beauty. Still, Doug and a spear, spear from Roadblock. Cage is there. And it's over. One, two, three. Wow. What a match. Microphone on the live and he's feed. got one. You idiots been killing each other for months. Did you get enough of it yet? Good question. I'm tired of looking at you guys, to tell you the truth. Ah, very disrespectful. 
I'll tell you what. You'll do it one more time, and it'll be the last time. It'll be in the cage. In Whoa! At the anniversary, May 28th. All of you. Not me. <laughs> oh, you too. You're going to be the first one. And the hack guy. Now that's not fair. Professor, you're not a wrestler. Doesn't matter. If you guys touch each other, go anywhere near each other before that, you're all going. Ooh. You can't fire us! <laughs> Not only I can fire you, I can kick your ass too right before <laughs> I do. He could too. If you've never seen the size of Paul Daring, folks, I've seen Mack trucks that are small. So get out of here now while well, you still got the chance. Paul Darien has laid down the wall the original family and Brickhouse's faction one more time in May in the cage. You won it, ladies and gentlemen, the anniversary show, May 28th. It'll be a steel cage match with Brickhouse's crew taking on the original family. Now it is official. What a main event for the anniversary show. And don't forget, we're right back here Saturday night, April 23rd. And once again, the 42nd anniversary show, Saturday, May 28th. Be sure to follow us on social media for information. Saturday, this Saturday, April 23rd, 3WA Action returns for Quaker Town fans. Get your tickets. Quaker Town. I'm so freaking frustrated about the results of what happened last night at the Q Mart 3WA. I just can't believe what happened in the tag team extravaganza that was supposed to be. I mean, Shane Douglas and that roadblock. Unreal. What the hell was going on? And now they're trying to make a cage match in May between a six man tag team in a cage. And I have to put my life on the line and enter the cage? In this match? That's unheard of. I Could be the only way to end this feud, Professor. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Cage match. Thinking about this. JT, please. You better, you better take it. I can't take it anymore. Shane Douglas, I told you I would leave you lifeless. I told you I would leave you breathless. And I told you I'd leave you bloody. And I did exactly that. Yes, you got the pitfall over me, but it don't mean a damn thing to me. I'm moving on. Still, the franchise of 3WA. Now let's talk about current events. Let's talk about current events. They're gonna put the original hat guy in a tag match. My life is on the line. A tag match, just a tag match. Don't tell me to judge. A tag match against Michael Mars. And that's you. We gotta get real serious with that real quick, okay? I'll, I will, I will train you. I will train you. I will guide you. I, I shouldn't sorry. even be in this freaking match. He just mentioned that, uh, Hack Guy, he mentioned that the uh, the handicap match, April 23rd, with Tyler Sims against Michael Mars. You gotta get real serious. You're gonna be in a tag match with Tyler Sims versus Michael Mars. You got this. I got thrown out last time, and I'll get He's dangerous. He's dangerous. I shouldn't even be involved in this guy. That's what's worse. You're going to be in a steel cage match with me, 
I shouldn't even be involved in that. Against that bastard son of ours, Slayer. Against Roblox Chad McCoy. And against Brickhouse of all mama boys out there. You, you need to focus. I'm not trying to, this is tough love. Listen. Are you missing the no, I'm a manager. Wrestler! Listen! I'm a manager! You, have you got me all free! You up. have mentored me so much. So let me mentor you right now. You need to get serious. Okay? I did not like taking that pinfall of Shane Douglas. I did not like. I like the fact that he had his blood poured over that ring. But I did not like the fact that I took a pinfall for the first time since May of last year. John, I hope you don't, you better not blame that on me. No, because I never, I'm not, I'm just saying, we got some training to do. We got some things. You helped me get into the best shape of my life. You helped me become the ruler of it all. And I'm going to help you be the second of that. You're the most, you need to be the most devious and the most sadistic that you can ever be for this. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. But God damn it, we got some things to do. We got some things to do. Okay? Okay? This is not cool at all. And I need you to be ready. Let me tell you. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're supposed That's to be Roblox. What the hell? What, what are you even doing here? You're supposed to be 100 feet away. Roblox, get the, That's what Roblox, Roblox professor. I tracked you two bums down like the dogs that you are. And that 100 feet? That 100 feet only counts for uh -oh. your time. Oh my God. Oh! Fans, we're going to have some more information on exactly what just happened there come Saturday on Around the Turnbuckle. Absolutely. For tickets, call 215-362-7184 this Saturday at the Q Bar. Coming soon on Carnage, you're going to see Merrick Miami versus the Lucha King, Felipe Jr. You will see General Diesel versus Tommy Bats with Mary Bass. Roadblock and Slayer with Brickhouse versus Nico Gray and Warren Spurrell. And we'll have Autumn Green versus Aaron Spurrell versus Wiley Pro, Triple Black. Three WA Extreme Champion Evan Atlas defends against Alan Playball. Three WA High Impact Champion Drake McCann Daniel and Sage Matthews. The tag team titles are on the line as Tony Cheney and Suicide Myers defends against Will Britannia. JT Cage against Cody Rose in the championship series. And in the main event, Ty Shell Tyler Sims in the Hack Eye versus Michael Moores. Folks, for the Big Al Boski, this is Professor Teague saying thank you once again. We'll see you on Saturday on Around the Turnbuckle and at the Q Mark. Good night, everybody.